try the evidence is sure to be prominent. It's it's Bass and Bailey after all. Mark Johnson with the call. For the Steve Jobar MND handicap hurdle, it's run over three miles. David Bass riding away on destroy the evidence to try and get the early lead. Coquelicot towards that one's inside and towards the outside is T for free as they approach the first fight of hurdles. Destroy the evidence couldn't get the lead that he craved and as they jumped the first there was a coming together on the inside between Zane Knight and Jatalui. So they're all over the first flight, and now on towards flight number two of 12. And it's Coquelico, the mayor on the inside, with T for free on the outer. Those are the first duo. They're followed by Carl Philippe, and towards the outside, Hermino. After Hermino, the ridden along destroy the evidence, David Bass has been rousting this one along right from the tape being released at the moment. Destroy the evidence is going the wrong way through the field. He's now worse than halfway back in the pack. He's racing alongside Jatalui and just in behind Gaia and Yami in the early stages. The back marker is the mayor take no chances as they run down the side of the courts. So on the inside it is Coquelico and towards the outside T for free. Those are the first two and there are a couple of lengths clear of Carl Philippe who is racing in third. To the inside rail Zane Knight in fourth. Hermino is in fifth. Out very wide is Warranty who is racing in sixth. Jatalui made the turn in seventh. Guy and Yami is next. Then towards the outside destroy the evidence still being pushed along. On the inside is Madaket. After Madaket, the blue and gold colours of Mount Fuji Park. And at the back of the field over that flight was Take No Chances. Up the home straight they come for the first time and going on now towards flight number four. Coquelico in the red, white and blue. On the inside of T for Free, a previous chasing winner here at Newbury. Carl Philippe is racing in third. To the inside, Zane Knights just ahead of Jatta Louis. Towards the outside, Warranty as they got over that flight, at which Hermino hit that flight pretty hard, was a little awkward in the air. On now towards the flight, which were the last in a circuit's time as they go through one third distance. Coquelico on the inside, a T for free. They were still the first two as they crossed over it. Then Zane Knights on the inside of Carl Philippe and a little wider Warranty. Next is Jatta Louis with Hermino. Then on the inside is Madaket. Out wide in the blue and yellow is Guy and Yami racing in advance of Destroy the Evidence. And then Madaket on the inside, followed by last but one Mount Fuji Park. And the back marker, as she's been throughout, is Take No Chances in the hands, double seeking Harry Skelton. Into the turn, Coquelico and T for free. Still the two who duel for the lead. It's Warranty who's now moved into third position, two lengths off the duelling leaders. And then Carl Philippe, Guyanyami around the outside, a wide trip around the turn. To the inside, Zane Knight. Next is Hermino, then Jatalui. Once again, David Bass is riding away on Destroy the Evidence. He's uh, been a very difficult ride so far. Mount Fuji Park still towards the rear of the field, but he has gone past a Madaket. And still the back marker is Take No Chances. Over the first flight taken down the back straight. All safely over, and it's T for free on the outside, who just has the lead now to Coquelico on the inside. But the others are all closing up now to within a couple of lengths. Warranty alongside Carl Philippe as they get over the second of the four flights taken down the back straight. And a reminder for Destroy the Evidence as they go through their starting point. And on now towards the final mile. And now flight number eight is in their sights. Coquelico and T for free are still the first duo as they've been throughout. Zane Knight sticking to the inside. Just in advance of Jatta Louis. Carl Philippe on the heels of the leading group. Warranty out wide. Guy and Yami landed rather flat-footed there. Hermino is next. Hermino is racing alongside Jatta Louis and on the inside, Madaket. And they have been followed by Mount Fuji Park. Destroy the evidence towards the outside. And as they got over the final flight in the back straight take no chances is still patiently ridden towards the rear of the field now they're bunching up is about to leave the back straight behind them first to last split now no more than six lengths Coquelico now has the lead for the first time a clear lead it's gone on now by a length and a half to warranty in second and then T for free who's back peddling Zane Knight's on the inside destroy the evidence now for the first time is going the right way through the field and he's going forward and has now moved into third position down the side of the course they go inside the final five furlongs three flights of hurdles to take in the Steve Jobar M 
ND handicap hurdle, and it is Cockley Co and Sam Twist and Davis who have got the lead. Warranty making the turn in second for Mark Goldstein. Destroy the evidence and David Bass in third. Zane Knight's the inside for Tom Cannon, the green and red quarters. Then Hermino, Madiket on the inside, followed by Carl Philippe on the inner. Take No Chances has been given a very, very patient ride by Harry Skelton, but is creeping closer as they got over the third from home, although Take No Chances would not fluent there. Jata Louis is also beginning to stay on. They're followed next by Mount Fuji Park, racing inside the final three furlongs. They've got two flights of hurdles to take. Zane Knight's over on the far side. Hermino towards the near side. They are now the first two as the complexion of the race totally changes. Hermino in the centre was the leader to Zane Knight still smuggled into the race. Take no chances in the vivid orange alongside Madiket. And they have gone clear of Mount Fuji Park down towards the final flight. On the far side, it was Zane Knight. On the near side, Hermino. Now he gets to work on take no chances. Still with two lengths to find and only a furlong to get to the two leaders. Zane Knight's the far side. Hermino on the near side. They're very, very close. A half furlong to go. Take no chances is now beginning to get to within half a length. Zane Knight Knights just has the lead as they race up towards the line. A three-way go. Too close to call. Could go anyway. Zay Knights in the centre. Take no chance on the far side. And on the near side, that was Hermino.